Hello friends, in this tutorial we are going to discuss history of JavaScript. So let's get started. Before we proceed and understand history of JavaScript, let's have a look on introduction to JavaScript, a client side scripting language. First we understand what is the difference between programming language and a scripting language. Scripting languages are also programming languages but they are specifically little bit different than programming languages. So programming language versus scripting language. Programming languages are meant to develop softwares like Word, Photoshop, operating systems, engines, frameworks etc. Whereas scripting languages are meant to extend capabilities of softwares. That means we can use scripting languages to extend the capabilities of already built softwares. Like we use JavaScript to extend capabilities of browsers. We use JavaScript in game engines to extend the capabilities of engines. We use JavaScript in Adobe products to extend the capabilities of Adobe products. Programming languages help us to write programs. Then from them we create executables. Whereas scripting language codes or scripts are generally not self-executable. To execute scripting language codes or scripts, we need to embed them in some other language files. Hence, we embed JavaScript codes in HTML files using the script tag to execute them. C, C++, C Sharp, Java are examples for programming languages. Whereas JavaScript, ActionScript are examples for scripting languages. Even PHP is an example for scripting language. There are two different types of scripting languages we have. They are client-side scripting languages and server-side scripting languages. JavaScript is an example for client-side scripting language and PHP is an example for server-side scripting language. PHP stands for Preprocessor Hypertext. Let's discuss what is the difference between client-side scripts and server-side scripts. Client-side scripts are executed on client or user machine. Whereas server-side scripts are executed on the server or remote machine. On request, client-side scripts get download to client machine and then executed. Whereas on request, server-side scripts are executed on the server itself and then the result of execution will be sent to the client machine. As client-side scripts get download to the client machine, client-side scripts are not secure because with them malicious or harmful codes can also get download. Standard JavaScript is quite secure. JavaScript is a client-side scripting language. Hence, on request, JavaScript codes get downloaded on client machine and then interpreted by client softwares, that is, browsers like Internet Explorer, Firefox, Chrome. They understand JavaScript and execute. Even we have server-side JavaScript also. Here we are discussing about a JavaScript, a client-side scripting language. Okay. Now we understand what is the difference between Java and JavaScript. Java versus JavaScript. Remember that Java and JavaScript are different. They are not same. Java is an object oriented programming language. Whereas JavaScript is an object based scripting language. In Java, objects are created using classes. Hence, Java is a class based programming language. In JavaScript, objects are created using prototypes. Hence, JavaScript is prototype based scripting language. In Java, object oriented programming concepts are implemented through classes. Whereas in JavaScript, object oriented programming concepts are implemented through prototypes. Prototypes are similar to procedures or methods in Java and other programming languages. In Java, we can't add properties and behaviors to objects at runtime dynamically. Whereas in JavaScript, we can add properties and behaviors to objects at runtime dynamically. Java is strictly or strongly typed language. 
whereas javascript is weakly or loosely typed language most important difference is java is a programming language and javascript is a scripting language now we proceed and understand history of javascript itself to create well formatted web documents in late 1990s tim berners lee has developed html html is a language for formatting web pages html stands for hypertext markup language as html has limited design capabilities we can't be able to create most appealing websites hence we use css to create most appealing and well designed website we use html and css together css is a presentational language for web pages css stands for cascading style sheet we can't be able to create interactive and dynamic websites using only html and css hence we use javascript javascript is a client side scripting language HTML is a formatting language for web pages CSS is a presentational language for web pages whereas JavaScript is a behavioral language for web pages JavaScript scripting language to add behavior to web pages to create interactive dynamic web pages Mr Brendan Eich at Netscape Communications in collaboration with Sun Microsystems Around the year 1995 designed a language called as JavaScript. JavaScript is a scripting language. Before JavaScript design, websites were static. After designing the JavaScript, the scripting language, websites became interactive and dynamic. JavaScript follows prototype based or object based programming paradigm. that is in javascript objects are created by using prototypes object oriented features like abstraction inheritance polymorphism are implemented or achieved through prototypes prototypes are similar to procedures or methods in javascript we can add properties and behaviors to objects dynamically so remember that javascript is a prototype based programming paradigm to create objects we take help of prototypes to implement object oriented features like class objects abstraction inheritance polymorphism dynamic binding such features we implement using prototypes javascript has many built in objects which we use to code or while coding later javascript influenced to many other programming languages like action script 3.0 jscript.net etc Let's discuss standardization of JavaScript. The original name of JavaScript was Mocha. The name was chosen by Mr. Mark Andreessen, founder of Netscape. Later, name changed to LiveScript. Upon receiving trademark license from Sun Microsystems, the name changed to JavaScript. Around 1997, JavaScript was taken to ECMA, that is ECMA. ECMA stands for European Computers Manufacturers Association to carve out a standard specification for it so that every browser vendor implements standard javascript by following ECMA script a trademarked language specification javascript has been standardized today all modern browsers support javascript without plugin You just need to enable the JavaScript in browsers to execute JavaScript codes. A standard and stable JavaScript version is released with the name ECMAScript 7 on June 17, 2016, which is a standard and stable JavaScript version. ECMAScript 7 is the latest standard specification edition. The official standard name of JavaScript is ECMAScript. Note HTML CSS and JavaScript are most important core technologies for developing most appealing well designed interactive and dynamic websites let's discuss javascript versions with respect to years javascript 1.1 got released in 1996 they added various features to javascript like array boolean function 
number objects type of wide data types so what they are doing actually means they are adding new objects and they are adding new new properties and new new methods to objects and releasing new new features and releasing new new versions of javascript javascript 1.2 got released in 1997 they added various objects properties and methods like regular expression string object delete keyword equality not equality switch statement import export statements etc in 1998 javascript 1.3 got released to that they added not a number data type undefined data type infinity date object strictly equality operator etc in 1999 JavaScript 1.4 got released they added exception handling in keyword instance of keywords etc in 2000 JavaScript 1.5 got released they added runtime exception reports quantifiers creating constants etc to the language JavaScript 1.6 got released in 2005 they added generic arrays generic strings extended for each in loop etc to the language in 2006 javascript 1.7 got released they added better iterators added new functionalities to arrays etc in 2008 javascript 1.8 got released they added expression closures destructuring arrays etc in 2009 javascript 1.8.1 got released they added new features to the language like support of native json json stands for javascript object notation various new functionality to string objects etc in 2010 javascript 1.8.5 got released they added better object with more functionalities set get operators strict mode support previously java was weakly typed language now we have the capability to make strictly typed language also so that is all about history of javascript i hope you guys have understood history of javascript clearly i suggest you people to watch this video again and again until you understand whatever i explained in this tutorial in the next tutorial onwards we get more information on javascript itself for this tutorial this much is enough friends for more benefits please subscribe and don't forget to like comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial